Welcome to the USF 2000 here at USA. That's right, we are on an oval in the USF this week, as they tend to do once in a while. I think it's maybe like two times a season they run on an oval, something like that. But uh, regardless, we're at the free oval USA International. And we've got ourselves a 13 car field. I have a feeling that this qualifying is going to be very, very important because it seems like it could be difficult to pass. So I'm really going to try to hit something good here. Um, I don't know if it takes fuel out for qualifying in this series or not. Not sure if I can even see that. 4.8. So um, that's just a good information to know. It seems like, no, we have not had fuel taken out. Exit is clear. So I'll make sure not to overdrive this. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the tires warm in time for the lap. But we will try to get a run. It's quite loose up top early on. Okay, let's see what we got. Just like I said, making sure I don't overdrive, because I uh, I know how to run faster laps when a little bit of fuel burns off, and whenever uh, One more lap. the tires get a little warmer. P2. But you got to drive it a little bit differently off the start. So we'll see if I'm able to do it. Right now, P2 already, and uh, maybe dropping. So, seeing if we got anything else. 7.72 to a 7.64. The lap times are going to be very close as well. So, we got 6.5. Wow, that's much better than what I did, actually. <laughs> that's unfortunate. I wonder if I should have pushed a little harder. It seems like I might have been able to drive in harder and use the brake just a tad. Uh, that's difficult. I did move the brakes back because I'm only using a tiny, tiny bit. And uh, when the fuel burns off, I'm not sure you want to use any at all. Much later in the run. And we'll see about that. But early on, it does seem like you want to use like a little bit of brake. Just enough to get the squeak sound of the brakes going but barely even registering down there in the red bar next to my throttle. I think the key will be uh, keeping it down low in the corners. I imagine it's going to tighten up even more, maybe, with arrow push, potentially. I don't know if that's going to be much of a thing. I know we will get a tiny bit of draft. But, like I said, I think uh, it's going to be very difficult to pass. One of the only ways to pass, potentially, would be when guys get tight on exit. You might be able to cut below them, and that'll give you the chance you need. So I need to make sure I'm not doing that as well. And that goes back to kind of what I mentioned. Making sure I'm not overdriving the corners, keeping it low. Like, if I can do that, that would probably be pretty good. Right around that. I don't know if tire savings gonna be a thing at all. I did during practice kind of uh, come to the realization that you know tire grip was lowering after a bit of a longer run, but I don't know if that's gonna be significant enough to matter. These races are pretty short, so only 40 laps, and you see how quick the laps are. It looks like our P3 is holding strong at least. I was kind of hoping we'd be able to get going real quick with how uh, fast qualifying should be. And only 13 people in here. But apparently we're waiting on somebody. 7 and the 11. Neither of them doing laps as of right now. And uh, neither of them hitting the button. So we can just wait on them, I guess. But it's okay, we still uh, we only have 45 seconds more. I feel ready. This is just a fun little race. One of the few series that 
I think I can get a race in before ARCA starts tonight, which is at Homestead Road Course. Road Course B, I think specifically it is. So I'm looking forward to that. That should be pretty fun. Something new and the one road course of the season. Hopefully get some good participation because you have to both own Homestead and want to run a road course. So uh, hopefully it'll uh, be pretty good participation. I think it should be just fine. A lot of oval racers should own Homestead to begin with already. And ARC is a pretty, that's a pretty occupied series. So that's the end of the session. I know I'll be there first session. Hopefully Gavin will be there as well after missing the first race of the week last week at Auto Club. And uh, let's see, yes, we did hold on to P3. That's actually really nice because we will be on the inside as well. That will be helpful. On the inside. Pit road is closed right now. I'm hoping everyone around us keeps it clean. You never quite know what you're going to get when you come to an oval in a primarily road series. My brake bias, okay, that's good. Stayed where I wanted it. Hopefully I don't have to use a fast repair. No, no. And uh, get the chat. The track temp is C oval has cautions. Well, this is D oval, is it not? So this does not have cautions. Maybe they were talking about something else. In the inside column. And I just turned, uh, I just unmuted chat, so. Is it a first gear start? I think maybe it is. I think we're gonna get... We're gonna need to shift pretty quick, but seems like we're going slow enough. I, we still want to be first gear. <laughs> that sounded like a... Uh, a road series guy. He's like, what? Two? Maybe not too familiar with short tracks? I don't know. It's pretty common, obviously, to get two, uh, two laps pacing on a shorter track. So I'm not going to get too upset if things go wrong. A little bit, little bit of a wild card when you get these types of races. It's like the five just about took out the two on pacing. It's kind of scary. Pacing a little close to us on the right side there. But we might be able to get... Oh, Jesus Christ. He's already close to us, and now he's whipping back and forth. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get to P2. Okay, Colton. All right, cool block. It's fine. Whatever. Sorry. Still there. Don't spin it on the cold tires. What is the outside line faster now? Interesting. Not getting any grip down here. Wow, that was impressive. You know what? Please avoid my fault. Maybe you want to be on the outside. Gosh, I did not expect that. Maybe you just get a better run off the corners and stuff. Oh wow, is that is it because of the arrow push that it's so hard to turn right now? Are y'all staying in fourth or y'all shifting to fifth? That sounds like something you should know before you get into the race. Yeah, this is definitely tighter, so I guess arrow push is a big thing. Fortunately, we got lap traffic coming up right in front of us. One guy that decided not to uh, ready up. I guess he really wasn't ready. I don't know. Maybe uh, he ran into someone else's problem, but... Have to get around him. Dang, we just fell back, though. Right from the start. That's unfortunate. Lots of space between guys at the moment. 
Uh, at least behind us as well. Trying not to overdrive it. There's been some ovals that work better than others, I think, for these cars. What was one I liked? I remember there was one I liked quite a bit. Where was that? I think... Hmm. Can't remember where I liked these cars. Was it like a New Hampshire or something? No, we didn't take these to New Hampshire, did New Hampshire, did we? I can't remember. But, uh... This one, maybe not so... Not working so well. <laughs> it seems like it's going to be hard to catch the guy ahead. With uh, how much arrow push you're getting. That's your best lap in the session. I'm trying. I really am trying to, like, drive in harder, but it's really not working. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Definitely tighter than what I was experiencing in practice. Yeah, I'm, I'm falling behind, unfortunately, right now. The lap times are pretty consistent. The gap ahead is now 1.0. We're just gonna have to hope someone hits the wall, maybe, or someone reaches somebody else somehow and then they get to racing, then that could be uh, a way that we catch back up. Maybe lap traffic could play a part. Look for that. Got the guy ahead kind of catching P3. Keep an eye on it. Now that he's moved ahead a bit, I do feel like uh, I've got a little bit more turn in this thing. The inside lane was not where I wanted to be, though. I was really struggling to keep the keep my line down low, and it was making me have to slow down a whole bunch, so I didn't drift up into their lane. And I just I had no speed down there, so that was not what I expected on a short track. But you saw it here live. <laughs> P4 catching up to P3 though. He's having no trouble apparently. Or maybe the 3 is having trouble keeping consistent speed. And that's what's helping them out. Nothing to worry about behind. Disappointed that we ended up back here again because this is an oval I've already done in this car. It feels like there's so many options out there that we could take this car to that might be a little bit better uh, uh, that I have not experienced, and maybe I just missed those weeks or something. But back here, see if we can catch those guys ahead. I'll have to watch out if they run into each other. Trying to drive in harder, and uh, results are mixed. Kind of staying off the brake now that we've done some laps. Try to shift down a little sooner, maybe, get those high revs helping this thing turn. No. Oh. I think that light break is better. Lap traffic, and those guys are real close. This could get interesting. Between the red and blue up ahead. Half 
distance. A little shallow an entry there. That wasn't very good. I might be being a little bit too, uh, oh, that was a moment. Figured out. It's not getting out of the way. To enter the low and slow. I don't know why he's not backing off. Really annoying. Clear. We get by him. Side by side really slows you down, so hopefully they stay side by side up ahead for a while. That would be good for me. Apparently. The next car is Watson. Ooh, Rake got me sideways a little bit there. Interesting. I wonder if our right rear tire is getting worn. That could be a development. So, as a lap car, do I need to let the leader pass? No, but I don't want him to wreck me, and I don't want to wreck him. I'll be reported, so I'll just let him go by. Bye. I wish y'all took a look here, y'all running. running. I'm standing for the corners. I'm staying in fourth in the corners. You're up to the fifth, down the straightaway? Yep, yep. That's what we're doing here. It's not, it's not your competitor's responsibility to tell you how to drive the car. <laughs> also, the uh, guy asking if he needs to let the leader by. Uh, that really sounds like a road racer. <laughs> Jumping on oval. Uh, we're kind of catching this three, though. That's interesting. Ooh, he got pretty close to the wall on exit there. Thought he was gonna hit it for a moment. I'm trying to stay high for all these lead lap cars. Hmm. That lap was at nineteen point eight. Gonna have ten to go. Can we catch this guy ahead? Good job, 10 to go. Sad, I'm an asphalt vertical guy and I'm getting my ass in and doing it. traffic. Make our way through. Car outside. Keep low. It's not back off for us at all. Okay. That's fine. Slows us a little bit to have to enter a little lower, but oh, as long as they hold a line, I guess I can't ask too much. I don't think we're going to catch this guy ahead, though. Just not thinking we have the speed to do so. Your last lap time was at 19.9. Very hard to get anything done here. We need a mistake is what we need. Out of them, not out of me. Oh, <laughs> to go. 
Or a mistake out of a lap car, that would do it as well. Outside. Outside is clear. Huh. All right, Colton, the next car is Watson. We just, we can't do anything. If you got someone that knows how to do it, it's really hard to really have any anything for them. I don't know, can we mount a late charge? You've got two laps to go. Oh, I thought he was gonna get up into the wall. Felt to get tight right there just because I was so close to him. What flag? Stay smooth. I just I can't get any closer. I don't know how that four car did it. White flag, last lap. That's good consistency. Keep it up. No idea. <laughs> good race, Chris. All right, well, there's really nothing you can do there, I don't feel like, or nothing I could do anyway. Good job, very good job. It was pretty clean, though, at least. We'll get P5 after starting P3. It looked like he really did want to be on the outside on the start. So I didn't get stuck down uh, below having to lift off to hold my line. God, why is it so loud? Jesus, calm down. <laughs> Take a look at the incident, see what did happen. I know there was uh, something happening early on. So this is lap one. Oh, loops it on entry, interesting. Couple people caught up in that. Not sure if he just overdrove it, if he has his brake by his back and hit the brakes too hard. Not sure what ended up with that result. There's another spin on lap one. I guess it's those cold tires. Not wanting to grip up. And then that's it. Then you got the the winner. That was it. Um Nothing happened. <laughs> nothing happened in this race, it feels like. Uh Okay, well, that combo doesn't work too well if you ask me, but we did it. <laughs> we participated, I guess. Thanks for watching, um, even though you watched paint dry. <laughs> okay, see ya.